everybody and welcome. We are here to talk about the Mantic Companion, which is also known as the Mantic App. Although, is it, is it an app or isn't it an app? It's a website. Well, um, it's an app. It's a website app. It's, yeah. it's an appy website companion. It's the Mantic Companion the appy website to go with our big red book 3.5 Deluxe Games Edition. That's the way we think, do things at Mantic. What, I, what you, what you want to know is, what is it? So, come on, Elliot. What is it? It's a suite of tools for <laughs> war gamers for all of Mantic games. Okay, that was kind of boring. Let's go again. Come on, what is it? It's an army builder, right? It is an army builder. It's an army builder. The best, coolest. It's why the why, best why army did we start from there? I mean, you, you know, you I kind of swooped you up from the outside world, but you're a kind of war gamer come coding geek. Is that right? Correct. So I program for fun, which I know a lot of people don't really understand. Um, and I tend to make everything myself. Right. And you saw that we had a kind of cool app with Easy Army, and he's very good, and we love Greg, he's a superstar, but you realised there was more stuff we could kind of do, and there was cool yep. things that could be made and built. And Yeah, so my speciality is in building complicated systems like that. Right. Um, and I saw that I could do certain things that work better for my brain, yep. so I did. Right. Um, and I think what... what got me excited when we started talking was the fact that we could just go so far beyond just an army builder. Yeah. There was other things that we wanted to start doing and we talked about for ages and then I needed some kind of person that had the same kind of passion for our games, but actually the technical skills that, yeah, we're good at writing games, we're good at great, making great models, but actually we needed an app that was going to be awesome. So we've got the army builder. Why is this army builder better than any other army builder that's out there? What, what does it have that's super cool? Well, in particular now, it's coming uh, directly from the source. Yep. So we know everything is right and hopefully correct on it. Yeah. Um, but that means that we can be specific and we can do bespoke things for our games. Um, we don't need to be general. So all the features are directed at Mantic game stuff. Right. So we include all the inline rules. Um, the layout is makes sense based on what you're looking at um, and all of the really advanced so we, features. We've got like. to build it absolutely from... The yeah. start, top to bottom. So we bought this beautiful app, and there's so much more that's going to go with it. And I think we're going to come on and talk about all those extras. But I think what everyone's currently saying is, what's the price? Why are we doing, you know, here we are. My God, it's going to be a million pounds a month. So let's talk about what we've actually built, which we're going to come on to, but also what's it going to cost me. And I think the big thing that's different from, from other, the Easy Army is that we've gone for 3 99 a month. Uh, which will be the same in dollars and pounds, um, which gives you one gaming system. But for just two pounds or two dollars more, you are going to get all of our gaming systems. And I think what you've built primarily right at the core is an army builder, not just for Kings of War, but also for Dead Zone, yep. also for Firefight in the new year, Armada. Armada. So all of our gaming systems are all in one place. And so at the at, just on the very basic level, you know, we were looking at the pricing of the Easy Army. That was going to go up a dollar. We've gone one dollar more than that, one quid more than that. But suddenly everything is all in one place. And I think there is a deal. Well, I know there's a deal. If you sign up for a year, you get uh, 12 months for the price of 10. Yep. But, you know, this is Mantic. We don't just come shaking you down for cash. We're not that kind of company. So we have some wonderful offers that's going live when the app goes live 1st November. And tell us about those. So everyone who signs up is going to get um, a free period of full access to the app until January the 21st. 31st. Um, 31st. 31st. Did 31st. you say 21st? Did I? Anyway, whatever. January 31st. So all of November, if you sign up on the first day, all of December yep. and all of January to play around, look inside. Probably any bugs we've got, help us fix them, but there'll be none of those, will there? Absolutely zero. Zero guaranteed. of those, guaranteed. Definitely double guaranteed. And you're going to have three months to play around, get used to it. There will then be, after 31st, the options to have your two free army lists and you'll still be able to access some parts of it but there will be some then behind this cool wonderful firewall which we'll talk more about if you have signed up for the one year easy army and you've still got three months left let's say uh, as of the 31st december we will add those three months to the end of your from the end of the free period so on the 31st of january if you have three months left on your easy army we will put three months onto your 
uh, Manta Cap. So we're going to honour all that. Super cool. We don't want to thing anyone. <coughs> and that does mean easy army for, for the main army games other than Armada will shut down 31st December and we will then move your remaining months over. Um, so, okay, it's an army builder. That's what's coming out. We've got a big free trial period that everyone's going to have a good rubbish around. But it's not just a list builder, is it? No. Tell us more. Tell us about Math Hammer. What is Math Hammer, Elliot? Math Hammer is stats for nerds for war games. Right. And just give me an example, because I'm obviously not a nerd. Definitely not a geek. <coughs> but I want to... Well, what does it do for me? Why am I going to be interested in what that does? Well, the idea is you want to know how a given unit... Well, dwarfs, obviously. obviously. How a unit of dwarfs... Um, performs in a given combat. Against um, filthy orcs, let's say. Against filthy orcs. And... You want to know if you give them different magic items, if you choose the regiment over the troop, how they're going to perform in average number of hits and wounds. So I could take my super cool unit of wonderful dwarves and then go, if I tool them up this way, yeah. this is more likely. And if I know I'm fighting a heavily armoured army, okay, I want to destroy our armour. If I'm fighting spam, lots of lead. Yep. So I can tweak around my army list so that as I'm building my army list, I can really perfect and tone up Correct. my yeah. sexy, beautiful fully painted dwarf army and you can um compare that to how much you're paying in points for that unit as well okay so it's a kind of uh, guide for both the idiot like me who doesn't know what he's doing and can just stop me doing dumb things yep and the connoisseur elite player who's just going to be able to like fine tune and and save him lots of time tweaking around different yep. options without having to run through lots of games to exactly it and it works in reverse as well so if you want to know say a horde, uh, how good of an anvil it's going to be, yeah. then you set that up as the defending unit and see how many wounds it will take. Before it's going to start yeah. getting into trouble. So there we are, that's Mass Hammer, that's exciting. Tournament organising software, what's this? Tell us about that. This is specific bespoke um, software for anybody to run tournaments for their clubs. Brilliant. And um, I think we talked about this, and this is, this is not, well, it, it ran Clash of Kings, so it did. can run that kind of high-end stuff. But we know people have the software they prefer, and there's a load of tournaments out there that are running very well. But what we're thinking about is, you know, dad that's got a load of guys in the club and his sons, and he wants to run a 10-person tournament. He's never run one before. How intimidating is that? Where do I find us? It's right there. It's in the app. Exactly. Bang. Away you go. I love that. And that allows us to kind of keep scores of people and how they're playing and who's doing well and which armies are doing well. Precisely that. And then we could give prizes to the best goblin player in the world. Well, no, we never would do that because goblin players are filth. But dwarf players, for example, we could give, we could reward dwarf players. Or orcs. Mm. 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 Um, halflings. Mm. Okay, let's move on. So, tournament stuff, it's there. It goes all the way from the high end. You've done Clash of Kings this, this year in the UK. Yes. And it goes all the way down to you're running it in your, the privacy of your own garage. All right. Correct. Correct. And you've just got it there. People submit their armies, away it goes. And if you've done that bit, then all of a sudden the info starts coming in, rankings comes in, we can see who's doing what. We can have weekly roundups of all cool armies. And I'm guessing that if people share their army lists and someone goes and wins the Clash of Kings UK, we can share their army list off at some point in the future. We can, yeah. So the list builder itself has public lists. Okay. So you can make any list that you have public so for others. So the Dan Kings of this world and the Jeffs that came over and um, and and John Green that came over. New York, we can share their army lists. And Steve Hildry, the people that are ranking them. Here you go, share it public, and people can build that army. They can see how they won with it. That's it. And you can start finessing your. Wow, that's exciting, isn't it? Uh, the main uh, one of the large upgrades that we've done to the tournament software is enabling people to submit their scores on their device now wow, okay. so they don't need to pass around paper the tournament organizer doesn't need to faff around putting the data in and potentially introducing well, you actually human error. Clash oh it's amazing you love that yeah. bit yeah okay so there's that uh, uh, that functionality is building probably that's probably still in the kind of beta but over the next weeks and months it'll yeah. just keep getting refined as we get feedback and while we're opening it up while we're giving it a, a, a nice long free period anyone ever wants to try and all these cool things that uh, Elliot has built um, and of course you know there's going to be a few snags but we're going to be making sure that over the first coming weeks which absolutely on those and then we'll just keep rolling out developments which leads me to the future this is not the end of our ambition is it this no. is simply the start what else have we got looking forward coming down the line um to start with we're going to upload all of the law that we have so just take it out publicly available yeah 
whack um, it into the map that he can read it. Exactly. Read about dwarfs. Um, and potentially some older lore or some of the uh, more obscure bits. Yeah, we could just go digging it. Here's a mine and here's our library. Um, so I think it's, it's great that we've got a whole load of... Um, and of course, free. That's going to be in front of the paywall. So everyone that's Correct. starting to get into uh, Mantic games. And what's nice is this is now lot now you can. I keep thinking about Kings of War, but of course we have Forge Fathers, which are also the best army in Dead Zone and I Firefight. Agree with you there. Yeah. Okay. Fine. We've got some agree with that. So all of our games. That's where your free rules are going to be. It's where your law is going to be. Yes. So when your mate starts saying, "I've heard about this Kings of War." You say, ha, 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 go to this app, straight web strike. So that's it. And it's really important to stress that the free stuff that you'll get just by registering is enough to know what you're doing and start playing. Yeah. And I think with Ambush, we've just done for Kings of War and obviously Dead Zone, which is a great game, Firefight, Orgugly, it's all there. Here you go. Let's start playing. And I think mm. that's kind of because Mantic One now wants more people to play our wonderful games, don't we? I think that's that's the Absolutely. stage we're at. And we've got some great models, we've got great rage, we've got superb games. More people, please. We want to make it easy for you, our current fans, to get you the rest of your club playing our game. We've just done Ambush for Kings of War because painting 300 figures is the hardest. 200, 100, depending on your army. Six if you're doing an ogre army. Um, to get a, to get that in, over that initial hump. And therefore, Ambush is giving you that 500 points game, which really gets you into to Kings of War. And that's all going to be in front of the, of the paywall and subscription Correct. service, that's all there. And more games coming. Absolutely. So starting with Armada yeah. early next year. Brilliant. Um, we we're putting a lot of time and effort into making sure that the both the builder and then a subsequent playing tool is there because a lot of the feedback from Armada is sometimes it's difficult to keep track of the damage, the tokens. And you can have all that on there. That. Correct, that's yeah. How cool is that? So we're going to take this game onto another level as well, which, you know, Armada, very, very popular. Um, beautiful, beautiful ships. And actually, those rules are going to be out there. People are going to be able to trial it, start playing it. We've got a taste of set coming, and a new book and scenery. So exciting things happening for Armada. Yeah. As we say, we've just got the big red book for... Kings of War, which is romping on. Dead Zone continues to romp on. Firefight. So there you are, guys and girls, ladies and gents. Um, we have been talking about all things app. Is there anything we've missed? Is there anything we should be saying? Yeah, I mean, the, another upgrade that we're looking at is the MyMantic area of the site. So enabling people to upload the pictures of their armies to share those to um, challenge people to painting goals. So I can actually prove to everyone I actually have a painted dwarf Correct. army. Okay, yep. so there you go. You heard it here first. So exciting. I hope you're all super inspired. It's up there for three months. Dive in, get stuck in, have a go at it. It's coming out next month, uh, Tuesday, 1st of November. 1st of November. It's going to go live and uh, we're going to have lots of good stuff. I hope you've got convinced why it's absolutely wonderful. Um, we will be obviously... I don't know if you keep noticing, but I keep touching and feeling trees. I would keep watching because there's exciting things, uh, flora and fauna coming your way. Um, keep tapping in all week. We have blogs, we have updates. If you want a deep dive on Math Hammer, if you want to see how it's going to work on the rankings and everything else, uh, we've got blogs written by Elliot, written by Johnny and Martin, getting everybody exciting and deep diving on some of those things. But we hope we've answered most of the big questions. Obviously, you heard it here first. This is the good stuff, isn't it? Correct. And the free access coupon codes will be in those blogs. Going to be in the blogs. Letters. So start collecting them up. Jump on board. Please join us. We look forward to seeing you um, at a gaming event or a tournament or running one yourselves and seeing the results of it, which we can all start seeing and sharing. So very excited. Thanks, everybody. See you soon.